7 Moments from Impractical Jokers That Left You in Shock Before we start, I'd want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos and comment down below I subscribed so that you can be entered in a chance to win our comment shoutout giveaway. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Film Explosion. As you may or may not know, Impractical Jokers is a hidden camera prank show that follows the misadventures of our four friends, who compete to see who can get the others to do the craziest dares, pranks, and or punishments. The show debuted in December of 2011 and quickly gained traction due to its comedic attributes. Well, the showrunners tend to have things planned out and ready to go. However, you never know what will actually happen since this is, of course, a live prank show. Here are seven of the most shocking scenes to ever happen on Impractical Jokers. When Mur Goes Hairless a punishment titled Murr Goes Hairless. Without telling him anything about what was happening, the guys took him downstairs into a barber shop in New York. They told him to get comfortable, but when the man started shaving off Murr's eyebrows, he began to freak out. He continued to shave the rest of the hair off his entire head, except for a weird looking ring shape on the back. Just when Murr thought he had endured enough, they told him he had an interview at the DMV to get a new driver's license. He went in, took the photo, and now Murr is stuck with this as his license photo until March of 2026. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! I look like Lex Luthor! Science Enthusiasts it was Joe's turn to endure punishment from the guys and they found the perfect way to embarrass him. They filled a room with science enthusiasts and all posed as science experts. While they were going to be speaking on a panel together, they made Joe answer every single question to the worst of his ability, as none of them are actually science experts at all. Joe was met with many stares and everyone was chuckling at him. Wedding Speech A wedding is an occasion when families can come together and be comfortable around one another, but the guys wanted to break that comfort barrier with this next punishment. How that he would not only be attending this wedding for an unknown bride and groom, but he will also have to give a pre-written speech that they wrote for him. What Sal didn't know was that the bride and groom of the wedding were in on it, but the rest of the 300 people in the room about to get shock of the lifetime. Sal went up and got through the entire speech, leaving the audience with a literal draw dropped faces. Alright, here he goes. Oh my god, look at this. There's a lot of people in that wedding, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Security guard. It was Q's turn to have a punishment, so the guys sent him to a concert of a metal band dressed as a security guard which included a fanny pack. Q was to collect the cover charges for people coming to see the show. It was going almost too well, though, as every single person was giving him a $5 bill he was asking for as they walked in the door. It wasn't until after, though, that the real punishment would begin. The venue owner, who was in on the prank, went up onto the stage and announced the show was in fact free, but he heard that someone was collecting money at the door. He promptly told everyone at the venue to find the person and get their money back from them, causing a frenzy. Women's Issues the punishment for Q was for him to get in touch with his feminine side. He was to sit on a panel with two other women who were experts in the topic of women's issues. The moderator was in on the punishment for the other guys. The only thing that Q had to do was respectfully disagree with everything that the moderators were saying. Q ended up babbling things like Michelle Obama wouldn't be in the White House if her husband didn't get there, but she is very pretty though. The panel's audience was shocked by the remarks that Q was making. The entire feel of the room became extremely uncomfortable. How big of a person. This was a punishment for Sal and Murr. Joe and Q decided to strap them in a fat suit and race each other. Murr lost. They decided to continue in the helicopter. Joe and Q told them that since there was only one seat in the helicopter, one of them was going to have to sit on the side of it, and of course, it was Murr because he lost the race. Suddenly, the helicopter stopped over a small lake, and Joe told them they were going to have to lose some weight from the helicopter. With a lot of hesitation, Sal ended up having to jump out of the helicopter and into a freezing cold lake. Body piercing. In this particular episode, it was Murr who earned the punishment, since he had the most strikes. The guys told him that they were going to ask him a series of questions that he as a friend should know. For every answer that he got wrong, he was forced to spin a wheel of places to get body piercing. Murr struggled to answer a couple of questions, eventually getting both of his nipples pierced, as well as his belly button. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen now because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I will see you in the next video.